Hey guys, thanks for coming back and checking out my channel. This is, I guess, my third in my trilogy of outdoor summer projects. I had the opportunity to build this amazing cooler stand for my brother-in-law, John. Step one was to properly insulate the lid of this cooler. I got this idea from the amazing YouTube channel, What's Inside. I'll link that below and they actually cut apart an expensive cooler. And really the only difference is the insulation in the lid. After I was done channeling my inner MacGyver, I was able to start working on the wooden structure that surrounded the cooler. You can probably tell by these shots that I probably need a heavier table and a little bit more practice with my chisel. Breaking down all the rough cedar for the box started at my miter saw and as well my table saw to get my different lengths and widths required to build the frame around the cooler. Type on 3 and brad nails were the stars of the show when it came to assembling the inner frame and as well the majority of the outer frame of the cooler. My rough cut cedar boards were about five inches wide, so I made a rip cut at about three inches. That way I had a three inch and a two inch piece that I could butt together for my legs. My track saw and my miter saw made cutting the pieces out that would fit around the cooler super simple. At this point in our story, friction was really the only thing holding the cooler in place. So I added this metal strapping on each side as well as the front and back to be able to come up with a mesh to hold the weight of the cooler. I figured this can hold about 100 pounds, which should be enough for a bit of ice and maybe one or two sodas. Cedar, I think, is a great choice for outdoor projects, but I'm not a huge fan of how much it moves. I used about 76 billion of these GRK screws just to hold the top down as well as possible. Once everything was screwed down and not going anywhere, I used my track saw again to cut the sides to length. So have you heard of this thing called a pocket jig? I used this to put some screw holes in the rails for the bottom shelf of the stand. This gave it so much more strength and rigidity, as well as extra storage for more soda. So the lid's gonna see the most action, so I made sure to screw all of the side pieces as well as the top into the plastic of the lid. The track saw came out again to trim the lid pieces to final length, and then I took the router and I added a slight chamfer over the top surface of the lid. I had an idea for a pretty unique handle, so luckily my friend had this chunk of antler that he had found laying around. If this is your first time visiting my channel, Thanks so much, I super appreciate it. I'm still growing, still learning. So if you have any feedback, I'd love to hear that below. If you like what you see, I'd love to see you hit that thumbs up button or even subscribe. Thanks guys. It should be no surprise that the part of this project that gave me the most anxiety was drilling through the cooler so I could add the vinyl tube to add the drain for the cooler. The three quarter inch vinyl tubing fit perfectly with the brass fittings I found at the home center. Of course I used Teflon tape to seal everything and a hot water bib to drain a cooler. That's all they had. All the hardware in place I was able to start prepping for finish. And in case you're wondering, for finish, I used General Finish's 450 exterior in a sap. After several coats and sanding in between, I started attaching the hardware for the bottle opener and the hardware for the lid. No clue where I saw this trick, but I did use a dab of CA glue just to hold my hinge in place so I could center my drill properly when I was attaching the lid. The final step was the deer antler handle, and it was good to go. Thanks again for following along. I'll link another video beside here so you can go check out some of my other work. And if you want, we can connect on Instagram. It's usually where I spend most of my time. Have a good one, guys.